It's about, what, 100 degrees out? We have nothing to do today. Uh, Nathan. What's up? It's huge fuck. You probably already know who that is. He has this badass 991.1. UV purple GT3 RS thing is fucking killer. Full Sharkworks exhaust, ADV1 wheels. Finished in like a, I don't even know how to like, what is it, bronze? It's not really bronze, like gold. I would like say. True gold? It was supposed to be like pure gold, but I mean, they definitely came out a lot different. This like, sounds like my old GT3 did. Mine sounds like a fucking Macan or something. This is not right. That's gonna make a sick photo though. Everyone told me like the Sharkworks exhaust, full race exhaust is way too loud. I decided to go with the AWE exhaust. They did the one on my Raptor. I, I enjoy working with them. I was like, fuck it. I'll just go ahead and, and finish out AWE my whole garage. Did I make a mistake? Because I daily drove a straight piped GT3 for like a year and I loved it. So I don't know why like I took everyone's advice. I'm like, oh, it's too loud. Is this thing too loud? Hey, it's does stock cats, stock headers. So I'd say no. You don't vlog about cars ever, huh? Not too often. I used no. to. I used to a lot. You like cars. Um, you have yeah. two sick okay. fucking cars. Yeah. 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 So he's got a Raptor. Do you have any video? I'll put a clip up. He's got a Raptor that's almost identical to mine. Actually better than mine right now. <laughs> and a GT3 RS. And currently your RS is better than mine too. This is fucked up. It's making me look bad. <laughs> I've been a terrible YouTuber. I keep addressing it and I'm not really doing anything about it. You know, I'm like, fuck it. Today is the day I start doing something about it. First thing is work. I started Fourth Phase, my software development company, about three months ago now. The idea initially was that it was gonna let me like free up time and I was gonna stop writing so much code uh, and that backfired basically immediately. In the last two months, I've done more software development than I've ever done in my life. Uh, I am writing code all the time, into the night, over the weekends, uh, which gives me basically no time to make videos or do anything else. I think my girlfriend's kind of pissed at me too because like 2 a.m. in the morning, I'm still on my computer just typing away. Uh, so first things first, I'm gonna change the way I'm doing work. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'm not available. I am completely off the grid for anyone I work with. And that's gonna be dedicated to filming and editing a video once a week. Where's my receipt? I need, no, I need, I need the receipt. Then there's part two of this. Uh, I bought myself a new camera last video. I am loving it so far. It should make my life a lot easier. The footage is easier to edit. I can see myself. I don't have to film the same clip 32 times. I'm out of focus or the exposure's not working, whatever it is. Uh, the only problem I'm having right now is the lens that came with it's just a little too close. Like I'm not, this isn't my style. Uh, it's just not wide enough, so. wondering 
how we get those shots, like the POV shots. Literally just put this in your mouth. Uh, third phase of this whole plan is the editing style and how I'm filming these videos. So easier camera to use definitely helps. But if I'm spending like eight hours a day editing these videos, it doesn't matter how much time I have to film. I'm not gonna have enough time to get out a video on a weekly basis. I'm still gonna do the cinematics. I'm still gonna do the car reviews, don't worry. But uh, at least like my weekly video is probably gonna be more like this style, more vloggy. Uh, hanging out with friends, doing stuff with cars, doing stuff to cars, and not so much of the like non-stop like cinematic, 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 like worrying about every shot and how everything looks. And that's like the, my three steps to success for making videos in the future. And I'm gonna end this video uh, talking about two cars that you guys have asked me non-stop. I've gotten a DM about every single day asking about these two cars, so I'm gonna do a quick car talk here at the end, uh, and then we'll wrap this video up. Cars I have been requested to talk about more than I've ever been asked to talk about any cars in history and asked what I think about them and am I buying them and everything else. The new Supra and the new C8 Corvette. Let's start with the Supra. I can say that I know basically nothing about this car. I know that they are super hyped up. We haven't seen a Supra in over 20 years. I get what the hype is around the car. Concept car for the Supra blew me out of the fucking water. If it looked like that, I would have bought one. The actual car itself looks like a BRZ with a body kit on it, in my opinion. I wish it would have been aimed a little higher, like at the GTR and the 911. It could have been a little bit more expensive, a little bit more power. But I do get that's not what the Super was in the past, and I think they're trying to keep it true to what it was supposed to be. Also, if I know the car community at all, I know we're going to see like 900 horsepower wide body Supras in the next like six months. Uh, so when that happens, I'll comment again. But for right now, I'm not... Super impressed. I get the hype around the car. I'm just not that interested. I don't know enough about it. The C8 Corvette is a car that looks exactly like a concept car should, and then somehow or another it made it to production. So for that, I am blown away. GM just set the stage for the next like 10 years of sports car production. I think everyone else is gonna have to step up their game now. We're talking about a mid-engine sports car, zero to 60 in under three seconds. I'm sure the track numbers are gonna be insane. And all of that is at like $60,000, I believe. Um, that's honestly pretty, pretty fucking incredible. My issue with the C8 Corvette is that it is called a Corvette. Uh, I wish GM would have killed the Corvette name, let the C7 be the final Corvette, and then start up some new thing. I know they couldn't do that. There's too much history around the Corvette. I grew up loving Corvettes and American Muscle. I owned a C5, two C6s. I've driven probably 20 C7s. I love Corvettes. The new one's not a Corvette. It kind of pisses me off that they just kind of like did that to the Corvette. Having said that, the car itself is insane. I wish the design of the car would have been a little bit more original. It looks like knockoff McLaren. You know when like GTA tries to put like a Lambo in their game, but they don't have the Lambo right. So they like change a couple things and call it uh, a Cheetah. That is what the new Corvette reminds me of, like a knockoff supercar. But having said that, I am blown away by the car. I will not be ordering one. I don't really care to own one, but I'm sure I'll review one and I am pretty excited about that. Also, they said that they realized their demographic is getting older and older and older. Like you think Corvette, you think like old white dudes. Uh, then in their marketing, they said we wanted to aim the new C8 at a younger demographic. And then they showed that the back fits golf clubs. That's not what you put in there if you want to like lure in millennials. You like, should have put like, I, I don't know, like recyclable straws, uh, free tuition, maybe some DJ turntables. Maybe you can cram some like followers in there. What else is our generation like? Uh, banning, how do you ban guns in a trunk of a... I'm getting off topic. I appreciate you guys watching this video. Smash the subscribe button, hit the like button, comment down below what you want to see more of in the future. You should be seeing another video from me in the next seven days. If you don't, I'm either super sick or I better be sick. And if I'm not sick, you guys have permission to unsubscribe. I'm gonna let you guys decide the fate of my channel. I'm gonna kill my own channel if I, uh, if I don't have at least some kind of consistency going forward. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for the support and I will catch you guys in the next one.